What's good? This is Trey. Welcome to this presentation. Today, I wanted to give you some quick advice on tapping into your masculinity. All right. When you breathe, when you communicate, you know, you want to you want to really embrace your masculine energy. And what is masculine energy is that energy within you that wants to express itself, that energy in within you that wants to create that energy within you that wants to produce right and you want to you want to just ground yourself in your masculinity so yes you know if you put yourself in certain situations there's going to be tension there's going to be social pressure to be conservative to to be reserved to not express yourself but you can feel that masculine energy that beast that wants to come out that wants to be unleashed you can feel it but a lot of guys have um have chained that beast up so much you know, you've put him so, so, he's so hidden within you that you can't even tap into that beast. But I'm telling you, you need to tap into that beast, bro. You need to tap into that masculine energy. The masculine energy is the energy of creation. It's the energy of production. That is the energy that you're going to need to achieve your goals. That is the energy you, that you need to create more wealth, to cultivate more power, to attract more women. That's that energy that wants to go after your fears. That's that energy that wants to be challenged. That's that energy that wants to step outside of the comfort zone. You see, the, the, they've tried to, to demasculate you, bro. They tried to make you feminine. They try to turn you into a little girl, bro. You're a fucking man. Embrace your masculine energy. Embrace your ability to be assertive. Embrace your ability to be proactive. Find that beast. Find that masculine energy when you breathe. Find that masculine energy when you're walking. Find that masculine energy when you close your eyes. Visualize yourself just, just being completely expressive, completely free. Because that is what is necessary to build your kingdom, to establish your throne. Being a king is going to require you to step into your masculinity. It's going to require leadership. It requires energy, forward moving energy, penetrating energy. Being passive, you know, sitting around waiting for shit, thinking about it, hoping about it, bro, that is not masculine energy. Masculine energy is, is you going and jumping into the, the water and hoping that you can swim, right? You jump in the water, bro, and you figure out how to swim while you're in the water. You jump in the fire and you learn how to deal with the fire. We, we don't have time. Time is precious. We don't have time to tip, tip our toe in the water. Bro, that's not going to get you anywhere. That's too slow. Jump in the water and, and tap into your masculinity. You can handle this shit. You think you can't handle it because your mind is playing tricks on you. And, and all the, the, the brainwashing and the social programming of masculinity is bad being aggressive is bad being assertive is bad voicing your opinion is bad just be a sheep just keep your mouth shut just bro the people who have who reach success are the ones who said fuck all that bullshit bro i'm gonna create i'm gonna tap into my masculine energy i'm gonna produce i'm gonna invent i'm gonna innovate i'm gonna produce bro i'm going to make a difference i'm gonna leave an impact on this planet, it will only happen through the power of masculine energy, the power of leadership, even the word dominance. Get comfortable with the word dominance. It's okay to dominate, right? If you're going to do something, go with the intention of I'm going to do this because I want to dominate, right? I'm not here for second best. I'm not here for third best. I'm here to be number one. I am here to take over. I'm here to establish my throne. I'm here to demonstrate the power of masculine energy, the power of creation, the power of production, the power of evolution, right? Being proactive, being assertive. This is you deciding that if something's going to happen, it's up to me. It's up to me. Whatever I want, whatever goal I set, it's up to me to take action and make that shit happen, right? Right? And understand there is a law of attraction. There is, if you put out a certain type of energy, you will attract the right resources, the right people, the right opportunities, you will. But that's through your thinking, your thoughts, you believing in yourself, and then through your action. It can't just be the thoughts. It can't just be you hoping and praying for it. 
the action needs to be there because the energy needs to be created and the energy needs to be put forth. And what you put out, you shall receive. But have some patience, brother. Have some patience, right? It will come to you. Whatever it is that you want will come to you, but you have to be consistent in your actions. It's not a one-day thing. You don't just step into your masculinity one day and think that you're going to rule the world. No, it's a consistent thing. You need to be a masculine man every single day, every single moment. All right? So the advice is to find your masculine energy. Embrace it. Unleash it. It's been locked up for too long. It's been caged. You've been told that it's not okay to voice your opinion. It's not okay to be bold. It's not okay to be confident. But guess what? If we're talking about women, women love masculine energy. Why? Because it's lacking. It's lacking. You want to stand out? Maybe you're not the most good-looking guy. Maybe you're not the, the most, uh, the richest guy, the, you know, the wealthiest guy. Maybe you're not the, uh, you know, the, the most powerful guy or whatever. But you can tap into your masculine energy, though. You can start creating, Right? Find your gifts. What is your gifts? What is your talents? You and, and, and use that to demonstrate your masculinity. Right? Use that to demonstrate your creativity. Your gifts. Don't try to be like somebody you're not. Right? I'm not going to go and try and do paint, paint some art. <laughs> That's not me. I'm not going to try and, you know, whatever, do ballroom dancing or, you know. And, but there's men who can go in those situations and, and tap into their masculine energy and be great. And I respect that, but I'm not that. I'm going to do me, and you got to do you. Find your gift and tap into it and, and just create, bro. Express yourself. Put it out there for the world to see. Don't keep it to yourself. You, you don't know who you're going to inspire. You may inspire somebody. You may make somebody's day. One of the greatest things I love about going out and approaching women is sometimes I may not get the girl's number, but I made her day. That's cool, man. That's cool to just express yourself and make someone's day. That's cool, brother. You know, and, and making someone's day, that's a big deal. Somebody could be having a bad day and you say something, you made their day. Or you created something or you produced something and it lifted their spirits. It raised their vibration. That's the power of masculine energy. So do not be afraid of your masculinity. Do not be afraid to reclaim it, to, to, um, to exert it. And demonstrate it on a consistent basis and be proud of it. You see what I'm saying? So that's the advice for today. I will see you in the next videos. Peace.